No, at six, a heartwarming reunion for a Parkland man involved in a multi-car pileup involving an 18-wheeler. Doctors are dumbfounded by his recovery, but the man himself isn't, and he gives the praise to the medical staff at Memorial Hospital and to something personal. CBS 4 News anchor Keith Jones takes us to the reunion. After looking at this mangled mess of metal, it's hard to believe anyone could survive, but Zach Corliss from Parkland did. The walking, talking medical miracle returned to Memorial Hospital in Hollywood to thank his medical team for saving his life. Zach had a traumatic brain injury and a spinal cord injury in the same setting, and we don't know what to expect quite often when that occurs. Five months ago, the 22-year-old collided with a semi at 65 miles per hour on Florida's Gulf Coast. He was taken to a hospital in Fort Myers and then flown to Memorial with shattered bones and worse. He was kept in a medically induced coma. He had nine surgeries so far. He came to the right kind of trauma center where all the pieces were in place to help him achieve this recovery. Zach required extensive surgery both on the west coast of Florida and then here. He got through an amazing ICU course and there was a period of time where we were very concerned about whether Zach would recover at all. Zach's doctors say it usually takes a full year or longer to achieve this kind of recovery. Zach did it in five months. I am a very competitive person, and I was always trying to beat what the doctors were telling me I wouldn't be able to do, per se. And that determination was born from another tragedy. My uh, father passed away in March, and he was one of my role models who I really looked up to and um, who I strived for. The recovery was painful, arduous, and at times he felt defeated. When I wasn't able to get out of my bed, I wanted to get out of my bed. When I wasn't able to walk, even if I fell, I wanted to walk. But Zach persevered, a will that got him off to rehab. A journey that became his job. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., I'd have therapy all day long. And my biggest thing was, once I got home, I needed to keep that same regimen in order to keep me at that level. A few short months later, Zach was back on his bike with a new goal that lends itself to his determination learned from dad. I just looked them in the face and I said, I I'm going to run a marathon. Keith Jones, CBS 4 News.